cash flows, right? Number two, profit maximization ignores risk. Give me an example. How does profit maximization ignore risk? is not very encouraging to me. Yes, sir. No? That's, that's the third. That's the third problem with profit maximization. I'm talking about the second problem. Profit maximization ignores risk. Why? Risk and return. Does it ring a bell? Risk and return are what? Risk and return. They are two sides of the same coin. Are you able to recall? The higher the risk, the higher must be the rate of return. So if you are maximizing return or profit, same thing, return and profit, same thing. If you are maximizing profit, then what are you maximizing at the same time? Return. Risk. If you are maximizing return or profits, you are maximizing risk at the same time. Is this what you want to do? What is risk? Probability of a loss. Okay, like a Super Bowl you had yesterday, more than six billion, I, I could be wrong, but more than six billions was wagered, you know. And say somebody takes a lot of risk, hey, the Rams are gonna, you know, beat the heck out of Patriots, you know, and somebody uh, bet all their farm on, on that thing happening. Lot of risk, right? Lot of risk. So. If Rams had won, this person who, you know, bet his farm on it would have doubled his money back. <coughs> but Rams did not win. They lost. So this person would have lost his farm. You understand what I'm saying here? Double mm -hmm. or nothing. That's what risk is. Does it ring a bell? Yeah. Is that what you want to do in life? Double or nothing? No. <laughs> I don't see anyone who wants to do, go for a double or nothing, you know? Yeah. I don't see anyone. I don't want to do it. Okay, so that's why we're saying maximize profits means what? If, if, if your instructor is teaching you maximize profits, you're also maximizing risk. You could be losing your vehicle, you could be losing your house, you could be losing your job, all your bank balance, everything. You see what I'm saying here? So even your goal should not be maximize profits or maximize your rate of return. You're wrong. Never talk about return without talking about risk. Never, ever do that. Okay. And the third thing, time value of money. Define time value of money. Has more value. Today Today's dollar, is more remember value. that, has more value than tomorrow's dollar. That's what time value of money is all about. Today's dollar has more value than tomorrow's dollar. Can you tell me the source of this value? Yes, earning power. Interest rates are positive. So if you have a dollar today, invest it for one night. By tomorrow, your dollar will be a little more than one dollar. You see what I'm saying? One day's interest. Okay, that's why we say today's dollar has more value than tomorrow. So this has practical implications. Okay? In other words, if you're making a payment, delay it as long as you can, legally. Okay? Legally, ethically, delay it. Make pay on the last day at the last moment. Why? Because until then your money is working for you. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Working for you, earning interest. Okay. And if you, if somebody owes you money, speed it up. Speed it up. Collect as quickly as you can. Because the sooner you have that money, okay, the sooner you can invest, and 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 the more that money will you know, earn by way of interest for it. Okay, so this is time value of money. So when you maximize profits, so you are ignoring the time value of money. Look back at the IBM example. You see what IBM was doing, right? Today's lease payment, this year's lease payment, next year's lease payment, so they were adding, disregarding the time value of money. Disregarding the time value of money. So, so uh, remember, in finance, we hate 
I mean, if you are doing some rough work, it's okay to add like your car dealer, the example I must have given you. Okay, but if you are doing some serious work, we do not want you to add today's $1 to next year's $1 and keep adding, you know, all these dollars that are coming to you from different time periods. We don't want you to do it. Make adjustments. Do you remember the adjustments we, we made last time? Okay, on the board? Mm -hmm. that those are the adjustments you want to make. Okay, any questions now? So don't maximize profit. So what do you do then? Maximize value. Maximize shareholder value or maximize the stock price. Did we end there? Do you, do you have it in your notes? Maximize the stock price. That's what your job is. Maximize the value of your business. Maximize the stock price. Okay? So how will you maximize the stock price? Uh, you gave me some examples like don't sit on too much cash. You see what I'm saying? Apple should not be sitting on this much cash. They should be investing it. Maybe there was a, there was a suggestion this morning by one analyst, JP Morgan analyst, that Apple should be buying Netflix, okay? Uh, it's gonna cost Apple close to $160 billion, okay? But that's, what App, that, that's where Apple is headed. I'm not saying it's a good acquisition uh, uh, by Apple. All I'm saying is that people are worried that Apple is sitting on too much cash. So if they start investing, make good investment decisions, you know, then they'll be, they'll be uh, you know, uh, causing the stock price to go up. So, so you and I will see Apple managers doing good things, you know, they're not sitting on too much cash. They are making good investment decisions. You will cause, it will cause the stock price to go up. Why? Because we will, you know, later on you will learn how, you know, we believe uh, stock, uh, how, how stocks should be uh, valued. Uh, but, you know, if enough of us agree that Apple is doing a good job with corporate funds, uh, there will be more demand for Apple stock, you know, based on the future cash flows and the stock price should go up. Okay, so maximize the stock price. Okay, don't maximize profits, maximize the stock price. All right, any questions? I've spent